Alright, uh, this seems to be the only time I can really force myself into making a video and then posting it. And I have only 43 minutes left on the, the camera here. So I just have enough time to maybe get in 40 minutes of material. Um, so, literally since the last time that I uh, was making a video, the last time I picked up a hat, uh, I have substantially slowed down. Um, it feels a little weird. Um, gotta wait for him to go. And I'm going to go last. Uh, but it does feel weird. Um, to slow down. But at this drastic rate. Waiting to pass the big truck there. Um, but when I did see this hat come up. Uh, I've only shopped at this uh, branch uh, once before I had, that I had bought. I had looked plenty of times. There have been plenty of times that I have seen their, their inventory. Been impressed. That was everything. But for the most part, I have found a few things there. Um, never really pulled the trigger, and there was plenty of time that they did do, like, coupon codes. Um, or there might have been, like, one or two times where they had a hat and it sold out, like, real fast. It's, um, it feels kind of rare for that kind of experience to uh, occur. It's not as familiar in this day and age of hat collecting like it was in the uh, earlier 2020s. So when I get to a stoplight here, I'm going to get it out. But in the meantime, I will uh, rant a bit, vamp, as they would also call it, with, oh, there's someone turning there. Going to wait for the Lexus to. You know, they, it's very rare to see a Lexus with a working turn signal. It's good, good for them. They finally patched that uh, update, that software update. So, I can't cut out the odds here because I'm just going to straight upload this when I get to work. Ooh, car in front of me doesn't know how to use their turn signal. Let's see what car model they are while avoiding the trash on the field. Ah! It's Mercedes. That's, that's why. So, one hat, the Cubs hat, and uh, it looked so good, so I had to get it. And it was the last one that was in my size. So I got super lucky for that. I, I mean, I re had to remember that was coming. I saw it before advertised, but didn't know when the drop time was. I don't know if the uh, place um, knew it or just wanted to make it a shock drop. But either way, I got this Cubs from Toppers USA. So <laughs> this is a nice green. This feels like a I want to say like it's a regular green, almost, it feels like a little lighter, especially with like the lining and the stitching here, but uh, right away it's that like off-white, kind of that creamish color, 1990 uh, All-Star side patch, and the 94 to 96 Cubby Bear face logo. And a gold Batterman on the back here. Um, this, and, and like, the way that it's, I don't know if it really conveys it here, but it's kind of like, in a way, like, faded. It's not like a bright blue. It's not, especially the red isn't really bright. It's a little tamed down. 
So it's kind of got uh, the initial thought in my head is rustic. It's l a little less saturated. Um, same in the Cubs um, All Star logo here. And it's a good fit. This is right away a good fit. Um, if I do curve the brim, little test here, it feels a little loose. Um, that's why it's. Even though I've been a bit of a person where, yes, I would prefer to have the idea of being able to stretch the hat out, that makes it easier. It's easier to stretch a hat than to shrink a hat. But I've really had the experience of stretching out a hat, it feels like a hassle, really. Um, so it would have been really, and this was. This fall pack one is a seven and a half, and this one I got lucky that it was a good enough fit where if I curve the brim, it stretched out a little bit. Sometimes seven and a halfs don't always do that. Same with other hats where it doesn't guarantee that you bend the brim and then you know you release the tension within the the band, the slip band, going the collar around the head. You can release tension, but how much? It had a lot of varying degrees of material where it was made to. Um, and you know that New Era doesn't give all the sweatshop kids in all the countries the same uh, tape measure. So, you know, maybe it's, you know, it could be like literally the same one, same seven and a half, but it's not actually the same seven and a half. So, but this is it, polyester. And speaking of location it was made in Laos interesting and uh, that's okay yeah, I like that actually Laos has become kind of a uh, kind of an underrated place to go to it's not Haiti which is great been having a lot of problems with Haiti hats especially getting on field hats because that's the only place I can really find them or that's the only place that, or that's where I see all the Haiti hats are the on field hats nowadays, unless I go on eBay. But this is for sure a good feel um, right away. Um, I mean, it's looser than I would essentially prefer, but it's not like so loose. And besides, they're out of hats. What am I going to do? Say, hey, uh, Tappers, USA people, um, what can you do for me? Nothing. Okay. So, um, wait for a, re a restock, but um, they did a Montreal Expo one in the same idea, but they had the date though. It was a mar more of a maroon brim, kind of a color palette, which was really good. I, I like that one a lot. So, um, what, this is a two pack, but this is a really nice color and I have wanted to get more of these hats with different brim colors, uh, a recent. I do have reds, I have a pink, I have a navy, I have a black, I have a blue. I don't have a purple. I don't really think I have an orange. I can really say um, green. Yellow would be really hard. You know what I mean? That um, this kind of color with yellow is eh, not ideal. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm pulling in here to grab some late breakfast here. Um, and someone in a cube is a little over. Actually, give me a second here while we see what I get. Hi, good morning. How may I help you? Hi, can I get a um, bacon wake up wrap, please? 
take a wrap? Yes, please. Just one? Just one. Okay, you can pull over to the window. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I have a quick go to? Um, yeah, especially with this being like this like nice green on the bottom. I already giving this like a four for my hat rating rankings. Total total flag. Um, it's okay. Um, I can understand why it's tonal. Um, for me, who is that? Oh, for me, I sometimes like it more often than not when it gets to be a contrasting uh, flag color that like matches the brim or the button. So it's nice that this does not have a button violation. I don't think, especially with. The topper is USA uh, staff uh, that they would let a button violation go by or a tonal underbrim go by. Um, eyelets are the same color. I mean, you're seeing this, but I'm just describing it just to fill up time here. Um, yeah, it is a nice fit. Um, I want to see, you know, I, it, I can really bend it with a steam machine. You know, there are way to like shrink it a little bit um but yeah um just to go over a few other things here just randomly um so one of the uh two days of the prime day thing in october i did order a few things with amazon i got new sweaters i, I always go with the gray it's just my standard it's the hanes um this is just a standard for the last probably almost seven years, it feels like for me. Maybe six years ever since I like, college. And I got a, uh, a light blue one for variation because I wear a lot of gray t-shirts. So a light gray and light gray doesn't really look good. Um, I think that... Um, the light blue I can pair a little bit better with some of my navy hats and even even with uh, this hat here I, I guess I can um, I think this you know looks better with like a darker sweater here like this navy one this is a champions one this looks really nice um, I do ha usually have I feel like I explained this in another video where oh not that I released it where I have a regular hoodie like this and then I have a black north face windbreaker without a hood just a collar to it and that is a that's my winter coat essentially um, kind of like a joke of like Midwesterners that you don't really have a winter coat it's just layers it's just two layers um, of different coats like lighter coats that equals <laughs> that equals a heavier coat layer uh, Midwestern mass as I would um, deviate the call um, but I got those two I did get some movies one of them came in the ma came in the mail was a post box I have no, the other didn't I got the matrix trilogy and I know that you don't necessarily care. I'm just going over the... Because we're not in the Best Buy parking lot yet. So I'm just filling in for... For vamping time here. But, um... I've been getting into... Physical media collection. Uh, of late. And, um... Kind of cool thing to do. And it's kind of weird how... One of the movies was... Packaged backwards. Uh, the other interesting thing about this one is that it does have the digital download to it, but I think, if I remember read it, if I read it correctly on the Amazon site, and I'm sure if I see it inside, actually I'm going to, I got time, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm going to open it, that uh, the code is expired, which is uh, Kind of stinks to put on a, uh, the digital app. Guys, okay, this is ridiculous. 
Yep, trying to make a nice video about a nice, really, really nice content, and then it turns into this crap. Alright, so... Oh, great, I, uh... This is poorly packaged, really. Like the corner, I mean, I know I... Here we go. I mean, yeah, this is packaged real bad in the corner here. You know, it's like getting a, a dent in the hat, you know, a crooked brim. Oops, about my turn. Other two movies I got was Singing in the Rain in 4K and uh, a 50s classic movie with Gene Kelly. And, um,. Oh, hold on. I know the name. Debbie Reynolds. That's what it is. And, um, that did not come, it should have come, but it wasn't in the packaging here. And the other was Darkest Hour, the, um, what about, um, Chamberlain. And, uh, Winston Churchill, sorry. Chamberlain was the guy before. Winston Churchill as uh, played by Gary Oldman. So that was my pickups from that Amazon ordering thing. All of those movies were like really well priced. Like the Matrix one was like half off. They're down from like 50, 60, down to 25 bucks. Yep, you got your coffee. Go. You got your coffee. Go. It's only the, it's only the Toyota that's causing problems. Mine's backed up by three, four cars. Uh, anywho, so the hat here, I'm going to give a, um, I'm going to give like a four of for my ranking for the year. Because it's really, really good. Um, I mean, I know maybe it's the three because like the fit isn't perfect, but the look of it is. Um, I mean, the fit is part of the ranking too. How well it feels. Um, Cause they have like an expectation. God, move. I was gonna be 10 minutes early, but now I'm gonna be running late again. Can I smack this Toyota driver? See if I honk, that's gonna make it worse. Um, this is not totally cold out that I can have the window open and be nice about it. Um, but I, for sure, top 10 this hat is for the year. Um, I I know I like, I'm at just about at 100. I'm not exactly at 100 hats for the year. Almost there. Um, but I'm not gonna have as many as like for sure last year um, at this point um, but I usually do like a top 50 hat for hats for the year I might still like do that but the um, grading uh, to be finally Toyotas. It just had a. Yep. Thank you. Okay, let's go to work late again. But uh, I did buy a Chopper's uh, USA hat um, over the summer, and it was one that I was excited about to get from the pictures online, and then when I got it, it wasn't necessarily uh, the best um, look 
looking presented um, or exactly fitting, but it grew on me. So, and <clears throat> and they have a lot out there. Um, I'm not gonna buy exactly everything, but there have been a few hats out there that I'm like I would really want to get. Don't you move? Expecting the key of salt to just move like, oh, I have the right, right hand turn lane and I'm in the red lane. It's like, well, I'm still turning, idiot. All right. So, thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, escapade of nothingness, essentially. Or at least the time that I did have um, some point of talking. So, thank you for all of your attention. And, um, Maybe your uh, laughter at me um, can also help me get through the day. And um, yeah, I expect to uh, do more uh, shopping at Toppers USA, the New York store. But and I got not go there. I'm not gonna. I don't have the time to get to New York unless I walk. But still, don't have enough vacation time. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Thoughts about the hat. Have you bought anything from Chopper Store USA? They're just about six months old. So I know some people are going crazy with them, with buying. Um, or some have maybe been like me, bought like one or two when it's like really good though. So uh, let me know. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone.